What's up guys, Zalakai here, and I've been kind of busy trying to keep up with things since I finally had a day off and it was a long six day work week. Got my laundry done, got my errands ran, and yesterday I was feeling a little, I was feeling a little lazy but I wanted to get something done. So I had spare parts laying around for a computer build I planned on doing, but I never got around to it. So yesterday I did it. I got myself from being lazy and doing nothing to building a computer that I don't know why I built it, but I ended up swapping that over to my main desktop now. So. <laughs> It turned out to be really good. I definitely checked out the specs of what my old processor was and everything that it was running. And I pretty much swapped out what I could save and use into the new computer. Although the tower's not really that beautiful, the system runs a lot better than the previous one that I had. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so this is the actual case that I used. It's nothing fancy, nothing pretty. It did the job. Still has a nice little glass side panel case. And let's see, check out the inside. I don't know if there's one screw or two screws here. Oh, there's two. I'll tell you this much, it's not gonna be pretty guys. It's, I got it done in the Really didn't try working on the cable management or anything, so it's not going to be spectacular like you see a lot of these YouTubers who do nothing but computers, but I've got a 750 gold standard or gold, gold power supply. I've got a 2 terabyte, whatchamacallit, a 2 terabyte Barracuda hard drive. I was going to use this as my streaming PC. But then I figured, what the heck, the process is better, everything about it's better, so why not just use it as my main PC? I don't have this, wa this uh, CPU water cooled, but I was using a i7. It was a way older model. I jumped into a i5, 6600K, 16 gigabytes of RAM. You probably can't see that because it's dark in there. Ugh. Oh my goodness. There, that's a little better. And yeah, this build wasn't entirely made for this system right here. But yeah, talk about cable management. I'll work on that. These parts were actually made for, well, bought for this case right here. The Fractal Design Node 202. It's a slim size case. It's literally like the size of the original Xbox, the OG Xbox. 
and oh man that's what this stuff was supposed to be for it was meant for this this case which i just realized i have two more fans in here so i definitely could use those for my other other setup and this one actually came with a power supply so the other power supply i could have saved but i did like this case but it replaced this one right here which this is the old system nice case kind of big kind of dirty because it was a used one i bought it off somebody for like 40 bucks so nice little upgrade Also want to throw in there I also want to throw in there that Windows you're doing something right I like the fact that building a new PC all I got to do is log into my account and as soon as I log in my computer is activated ten times better than before having to get the product key and this and that and all that nonsense this is a lot better good job Windows okay well the camera didn't actually get the end results with the time-lapse I didn't realize that it wasn't still recording and taking pictures so that's kind of a disappointment but I just want to let you guys know, uh, I've never built an actual PC before. I have put parts in a old model PC that was, I guess like a pre-built PC. That's just about it. This is my first time actually building one from scratch and not, not screwing up. The first time around I tried, but I really kind of gave up before I went through with it. This time I actually went through with the entire project. I didn't give up. I went and saw it through till the end. And I will have to say, as long as you know what you're doing, what parts go where, and what you need to get the computer going, anybody can do this. It's a lot simpler than you expect. Obviously, yes, the cable management, and if you want to add this to it, or if you want to overclock it, that's going to be a little more complicated down the road. But if you just want to build a basic computer and you don't want to have to buy a pre-built one from Best Buy, Micro Center, and spend $800 to $900, you can pretty much build one. Like this one right here, I think all the parts I got, the hard drive, the power supply, and the SSD, I got for cheap. I got two SSDs for $25, bucks, 120 gigabytes from Fry's. They were on sale. The hard drive, I think I got for $40 on sale at Amazon. The power supply, I believe I got on sale for... Hmm, how much was it? I want to say 80 bucks, 90 bucks. It retails like 150 or 140, something like that. The, what you call it? The graphics card I did have in my old PC, so that doesn't really count for this. The 1060, I believe, was $200. So if you take that into account, 200 with the stuff I just told you with the CPU, the motherboard, which you get a discount over at Micro Center for buying a CPU and a motherboard. You can definitely get a good solid quality build for around $500, $600. If you want to step up the graphics card, you can get one for about $800 with the 1080, I don't want to say 1080 Ti, that would probably make your computer about $1,200. But you see where I'm going with this. It's definitely more convenient and more fun to build your own PC than it is to buy a pre-built one. I understand if you want to buy a pre-built one because you don't want to build it, you don't have the time to, I definitely understand that. If I didn't have the time to and I was just super busy all the time, pre-built one's the way to go. Then you don't have to worry about it. And then you can even send it in and they'll fix it, send it right back to you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share. I have a new product to come tomorrow. So stay tuned. Later, guys.